So, because the um, dice hasn't arrived yet, we are going to do the first bit of the session on air cooling. So, I've just put a uh, Fantex air cooler on the system. I haven't fired it up yet. The 2700X is in there. Got the uh, GPU plugged in, which is a GT710. Um, got the SSD with 7 on it. Hopefully, it boots. We'll have to see. Um, I don't know whether the BIOS will be up to date. Hopefully, I'll be able to um, update the BIOS fairly easily with a USB stick if it isn't up to date. Uh, we've got the PS2 keyboard and the USB mouse plugged in. So, let's fire it up and uh, see if it actually works. Hopefully, it does. But we'll soon find out. So, the power is on, as you can see. The RGBs are lit up across the uh, chipset heatsink and the I.O. covery bit. The start button's also illuminated, but you can't really see that because it's around here in front of the heatsink. So uh, we'll fire it up and uh, we will hopefully first go into the BIOS and uh, see what the BIOS is like. Doing the first post. We're running a uh, G-Skill Trident Z 3200C14 memory, so it should uh, boot okay with this being Samsung BDI, it's not anything crazy. Just waiting for the 62 to come up on the postcode. Seems to be going around in circles quite a lot so far. That's how long it took to do the initial post. That was pretty ridiculous there. Well, you can hear the fans going already. Right, let's see what it's like in the BIOS. So the current CPU temperature says in the corner, I don't know if you can see there, you can't really. But uh, currently 24 degrees, 21 degrees. Um, it's standard at uh, 3.7 GHz according to the BIOS and the BIOS version on this board is 207-64 so I'll have a look if that's the latest BIOS first so there's already overclocking presets in here and um, the exact same presets are up on the Crosshair Hero 6 we'll load the XMP profile and uh, pretty much nothing else. I'm just going to leave everything else on auto. The BIOS looks exactly the same as the Hero 6. So we'll leave the LEDs on for now just so we can tell when the thing's on. And uh, we'll just do a run at stock, I guess, for now with XMP enabled. So the latest BIOS for this board is actually 401, so I'll probably get that BIOS onto here before we start doing um, much else, but we will boot into Windows, you can see it's actually booted into Windows 7, which is pretty nice. We are benching from the garage as well, so uh, not really enough room in my room to do the dice now. The mouse is not working so far in Windows. Hopefully it installs the driver. I don't actually have the chipset drivers for X470 on this SSD yet. It's going to restart itself. So it's booting up a lot faster than the Hero 6 did anyway on stock with just XMP. So that is interesting. Right, the mouse is not working so far. This is a USB 2 mouse and I have it in the USB 2 port. So we will try a different port. Can't really do much without it. Um, we can still use a PS2 keyboard though. So let's open CPU Z. So there we go. 
Ryzen 2700X. There's the board. Got the G scale memory under there. Fantex cooler on. RGB chipset. I haven't even taken the uh, plastic off that yet. Or the uh, rear I.O. shield. So, let's try and uh, do a quick run of uh, Cinebench here. R15. And uh, we'll see how it goes. There we go. Run multi thread. And uh, we'll leave CPU-Z up in the middle so you can see uh, what it's boosting to. So this is should be at stock but with the XMP settings for my memory. So it's boosting to 4 point, nearly 4.1. So it's got 1854 which is actually uh, pretty decent actually. You can see there compared to a 3930K, which was uh, probably clocked at 4.7-ish. Um, so that is that is pretty decent. That is literally just running at stock, and that's not with the uh, Cinebench R15 like bias in the, set in the BIOS as well. So I'll set the R15 um, performance mode in the BIOS and see how much difference that makes if any. Be nice if the camera was focused. So here where it says performance bias, go on CB15, that's Cinebench R15. Um, and then save and exit. It's a very old monitor this, it's my old HP. <laughs> so uh, I'm using that because my other LG monitor which I usually use for benchings on a monitor arm now. So it's a bit harder to get off. Uh, as for the stickers which come with the Ryzen's as well, you can see I've got them on my test bench. Those two there came with the 2400G and uh, that there at the end is the new sticker that comes with the Ryzen 7. Personally, um, I like the first gen Ryzen stickers a bit better. They look nicer in my opinion, but whatever. So. Let's have another go. Try and get CPU Z up. Again. Well, that was a fail. Press shut down instead of open CPU Z. There we go. We're back in the Windows. Open Cinebench. Get to Cinebench. Set it off running, and get the CPU Z open. So again, mine's boosting to this all by itself. I haven't overclocked it in the BIOS. All we've done is enable XMP. Uh, it's actually going a bit slower this time, which is interesting. Going at 4.05 instead of 7. And interestingly the score is actually the same. Well it was running at slightly lower clocks there as well. So run it again. Yeah, it's it's running at lower clocks on the uh with the C B fifteen tweak thing enabled in the BIOS definitely. Maybe it's because it's warmed up the heat sink a little bit and the fans are running pretty fast as well, which is interesting. So, 1858, that's our base stock line run. I'm hoping to get over 2000 to be honest. Uh, that would be nice. So, what I'll do is I'll uh, install the chipset drivers so that the uh, damn mouse works and we can actually save some screenshots. And, uh, yeah, then we'll be off to the races. Well, off to the races on air cooling anyway.